Hi guys, um, somebody on the forum asked the other day whether all of the adapters for the uh, Mini Pro T0866 uh, whether they would work on the GQ4X programmer. So I thought I'd do a, a quick uh, video today and just you know prove that one way or the other. And it's it's actually turned out to be a bit of a bit more interesting than I was expecting. Um, what I've done is taken, if I can get this to focus. I've taken a couple of uh, TSOP 48 chips off of two boards. One is off of a TCON board, the other is uh, off a uh, digital uh, board with a CAM uh, module fitted. Uh, they're both MX29LV 320s. Uh, this one is an ATTC, the other one is a CBTC. Uh, now, Interestingly, I can read the uh, the devices. Uh, I cannot write to the devices, and I cannot erase them. Now that may be perfectly correct. Um, you know, some of these chips have uh, bits that I think you can set and uh, make them uh, unalterable. Um, I haven't looked up this particular chip. I was just really trying to prove whether the adapters would uh, would work okay or not with both programmers. Um, this is the uh, Mini Pro TL866. Uh, sorry about the videoing today. I'm trying to work behind the camera this time so I can get the uh, software in view and hold the uh, adapters for you to see as well. So that's the TL866. Uh, I've got the ICSP version and uh, some of the members on the forum already have the GQ4X uh, and in fact this is the one we recommended a few years ago as uh, you know the best value for money with the adapters that we need in the TV repair trade uh, and I was the UK distributor for it but unfortunately the adapter sorry the programmer and the two adapters that we really needed frequently came to about 162 pounds uh, in this country and uh, this uh, cheaper adapter from China with a whole load more adapters came in about 62 pounds cheaper um, so a bit of a no-brainer so uh, well, I stopped recommending the GQ4X uh, for that reason of uh, price and uh, uh, I'm not bringing this one into the UK, there's no point members and anyone can just buy this straight off of eBay, there's uh, there's no money to be had uh, in these uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's much cheaper to just buy it yourself direct with all of the adapters. Anyway, um, the adapter required for these TSOP chips is one of these. It's, as you can see on there, it handles the 32, 40 and 48 pin TSOP uh, chips. And it does need to go onto a special base that's supplied. And that particular base is this one here. You see in the bottom right it says TSOP 48 or SOP 44. Um, there are other adapters. that the, uh, the TO866 came with, uh, TSOP 40 is, we've got 8 bit and 16 bit versions, so you do have to make sure you've chosen the right adapter uh, to go with the actual chip holder and uh, they really just press together like that. The orientation is obviously marked. You've got a red LED that will um, illuminate when it's reading. Uh, it might flicker depending on which programmer you've plugged it into. Um, now the first one I'm going to do is the uh, CB version because very strangely, that's the CB version, I don't know whether I can get that to, it's not going to focus probably or even be viewable. Yeah, you probably can't see the writing. But although the software for the TL866 has the CB version, it will not read it. Um, I've no idea why. And uh, I've checked the uh, 
pins are all clean of solder. That's it in the uh, the adapter. Um, but I thought I'd pop it across onto the, the GQ4X uh, here. It's uh, they're 40 pins, so that will just go straight in like like that. Let me just lock that in place. And if we just go down to the software now, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this or not to be honest but this is the um, GQ4X software and if we go to device uh, we can type in MX29LV oops LV320 and the version we've got in at the moment is the CB version so we'll just highlight that click on select and uh, yeah, the, there's a warning that says, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, set the adapter to the 5 volt jumper position. This is obviously referring to the uh, adapter that uh, MCU Mole uh, sell for the GQ4X. It's adapter ADP003, 8-bit uh, mode TSOP48, but this one will actually work. So if we just yeah, we want to get rid of the ID check. Uh, I don't think you can check the IDs and it will fail if you attempt to. If we now click on, uh, I'll just actually, I'll switch to the code view and uh, I've already read it, but what I'm going to do is just going to fill this uh, buffer with FFs uh, so you can see that it's now uh, empty with all FFs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down and then I'm going to hit on read and uh, you will then see that the uh, the FFs will change to whatever it's reading. So if I just click hit, if I just hit read, and in a few seconds we'll get down to that part of the uh, memory, and you'll see the FFs change. Hopefully, so I'm just it's just proving that it is actually reading it. Any second now they'll change. There you go. So uh, we're halfway, well, we're probably two thirds of the way through the code, and uh, you can see it's read it perfectly successfully. There, I'll just scroll and zoom in in case it's, the camera's not picking this up. Uh, so, no issues there. So, if I now disconnect the programmer, the GQ4X, and I'll just shut that down, I don't want any clashes and we'll run the mini pro programmer uh, which I will now connect so that's the mini pro programmer we've already got the CB version chosen and if I take out the adapter from the GQ4X and plug it into this one and uh, we'll just click on read now if this is going to fail because I haven't taken off the verify of the ID just need to scroll down and uh, hopefully you can see this on the camera just remove the tick from the check device ID there we go and if we scroll back up and click on read it will now attempt to read and you'll see we've got the red light on VCC light is on and uh, yeah, should be okay but um, it won't read anything no, no idea why this is I'll probably contact the, uh, the eBay seller just for verification of what's going on so it thinks it's finished if I just click on cancel and you can see there's uh, there's nothing there um, what I'll do now is I'll put the other version in which is the um, hang on a sec so I can see it yeah this version is the ATTC version and uh, again both oh, I think I just messed up the uh, pins on there 
just didn't have the chip quite in place and I let the adapter go and I think I've just damaged some pins. Well, I think we're just going to have to try this and see whether it reads it or not. Um, so if we just change the, the Mini Pro program to the AT version, which is there, and click on select. If we now select read, oh, I've done it again, we've got to cancel the uh, to check our device ID. Now if we click on read, hopefully this time, again, same situation on here, all the little LEDs are lit. Uh, hopefully with this one you'll see all those Fs change to the uh, the proper values. But as I said before, this, you cannot erase or write to these devices, and uh, yeah, I don't know why that is. I expect they've been uh, set so you can't do that. Uh, right now, you see this time, if we can click on cancel, you will see that. Uh, these EEPROM, uh, these uh, readings have appeared. So, for some reason, the <laughs> GQ4X can read both chips, despite the fact that both programmers have the correct uh, device number, uh, and the Mini Pro will only read one of them. Uh, you cannot erase or um, program either one. Or at least if you can, I don't know how you do it with the, uh, the setup, whether we need to change anything within the settings of this or not, I don't know. Uh, but the, the main point of this video was, um, will these adapters from China supplied with or as an extra for the Mini Pro work with the, the GQ4X? And the answer is uh, yes, they will. So um, you know, I can't recommend buying the GQ4X adapters they're, uh, they're a hell of a lot more expensive uh, the range of adapters we've got for around 40 pounds I think we've probably got uh, I don't know 10 10 different adapters pretty much everything you uh, you'll ever need um, so yeah that was it just to show you that these size these can be read I'm sure somebody else will come along and tell us why they uh, why they weren't being erased or written to um, but uh, yes the adapters can be used on any 40 pin uh, programmer I think just like the GQ4X. Okay catch you later